Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the new Auto Polygon Mesh Tracing and Auto Polygon Conflicts Hull Mesh Creation feature of the recent Creature update. So without further ado, let's jump into it. This is a very exciting update because it basically allows you to generate two additional polygon mesh types in Creature. As you know, there's many types of different polygon generation modes, and there's now two extra very powerful ones. So the first one, called Auto Polygon Mesh Tracing, actually allows you to generate a new polygon mesh that follows very closely to the outline of your intended image region. We'll get to that in a second. The second one allows you to generate a, a convex hull, again, also wrapping the overall intended image region. So you can now pick and choose whichever one you want. So let's go through them one by one. They're actually really simple to use. So here I actually have my original uh, uniform grid character uh, region mesh of, of my character. And so what I do to use the new feature is I move my mouse over to the custom polygon mesh button and click on it. And then the second option says auto convert polygon mesh with image outline. So just click on that and that's it. Now you actually see a bunch of points that are surrounding. You see how it's closely following the outline of the intended image region. Now I can change the trace, trace accuracy of the polygon by just sliding this bar over here. You can see it changes the overall resolution. And once you're happy with it, let's say I'm happy with it here, just click Create and you are done. You're now back to the custom polygon mesh creation mode. And I can go in and add additional points if I want to, just to finesse it a bit and make it more appropriate for your requirements. Once you're done with that, click on back and you are done. This is how new auto traced polygon mesh. See how it closely, very, very closely matches the outline of your intended image region. Now let's undo that. Let's go back again to the original uniform grid mesh and let's try the convex hull option now. So same thing, select your intended image region mesh click on the pencil icon, auto convert polygon mesh with image outline, and this time check the convex hull checkbox, see that? So you can see it generates this, this enclosing poly polygonal shape around the character. Now you don't actually have to very, be very accurate about the trace accuracy anymore because this is like an enclosing shape. And in general, I do recommend you using the convex hull if you want to save on polygons and you don't actually need a very you know, very close, like outline hugging polygon representation of your of your image region. So if you can get away with that, you can use the convex hull feature because it actually results if I click create in very few polygons. So it's really optimal for many game engines, especially if you're deploying this on a mobile device. So as as always, I can also add additional points if I want to. I can delete them however you want, and once you're happy with them, you go back and there you go. That is your convex hull creature image region. And so that's it for this tutorial. I, I, it's a very, as you can see, these two features are extremely easy to use and please use them if you want to. I think they'll be a very powerful addition to the entire suite of creature mesh authoring tools and will no doubt save you a lot of time because you no longer even have to manually trace the outline if you want a, a an outline hugging polygonal mesh. You can simply use this auto tracing feature to, to get to a polygonal mesh that matches your image outline, however you want. So thanks for watching and happy animating.